Hey guys, Coach P. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe, like, and share this with your friends. Today's topic of discussion is clenbuterol. What is it? What is it used for? And why do bodybuilders love it so much during the cutting season? Clenbuterol is an asthma medication. It is also the cousin of the drug ephedra or ephedrine. Ephedrine was used back in the 80s. We used to call it the ECA stack of ephedra, caffeine, and aspirin. That combination would raise our body core temperature up enough to start fat burning while we're dieting. It wasn't a, a hall pass to take that combination and go and eat whatever you wanted. It's not that. You have to be on that contest diet, that calorie restricted diet, in order for these substances to work. So, clenbuterol is the cousin of ephedra. Clenbuterol works the same way. It brings the body's core temperature up. Clenbuterol dosages start out at 20 micrograms. That should be taken for the first week or two, one time a day. I know some people say two times a day. I believe it should be taken one times a day because the sensitivity to the drug, people tend to get cramping and cramping in all the wrong places, hamstrings, quadriceps, a lot of times your fingers and your jaw muscles, horrible feeling. Every two weeks you should increase the dosage by 20 micrograms, spaced out about every four hours. This way it gives the body a chance to get used to the drug and the side effects soon taper off and you really don't have them. A lot of people in the industry are using clenbuterol in high dosages taken all at one time. 60, 80, 100 micrograms at a time at one dose is a recipe for disaster. You are going to experience all the bad side effects of the cramping and the shakes. You get the Parkinson's shakes from and sometimes you can't even hold the pencil steady. It's, it's that, it gets that bad. But clenbuterol dosed up 20 micrograms every two weeks allows the body to get used to it and it adjusts. And little by little, you're raising the core temperature, you're speeding up the metabolism, you're increasing the fat burning process. Again, not a, not a hall pass to go out and eat whatever you want junk food wise because you think that this is going to exclude you from getting fat. Absolutely not. You have to stay on that calorie restricted diet in order for these substances to work. I don't recommend anybody going over a hundred micrograms of clenbuterol at any time, maybe 120 tops. And that would be for a very big person, someone like myself, a 300 pound person. And again, dosages slowly increase over periods of weeks and weeks and weeks. And they're spaced out when you're doing that high of a dose between two to three hours because you got to make sure you get enough doses in you during the day. And when it's time to come off, you need to dose yourself down. Take yourself down 20 micro units a day, uh, um, every week or two. Take yourself down, take yourself down. So you don't experience the bounce back of the excessive weight gain because now you don't have your body metabolism speeding up and burning all this fat. You're taking in regular food and what's going to happen? You can get fat. So. It is a definitely a bodybuilding tool. It is definitely an asset to the bodybuilder if used correctly and not abused. But if you do it the wrong way and you're gonna use it to kind of cheat more than you're supposed to, you're gonna get fat. It's not gonna help you and it'll do more harm than good. Um, you take excessive doses of clenbuterol, it will kill you. It will kill you. So. With that being said, I hope you guys learned something from this. I am not an advocate of educating people on the use of these substances. I like to educate people on the pros and cons of these substances. So if I can be of any assistance to you, please reach out to me, www.mycoachp.com. Again, please subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends, and let's build my, my YouTube channel up. I appreciate you guys. Peace out.